G421 and G422. These are the certain codes which trouble almost every beginner and there are certain questions which arises to your mind like what is compensation, why we use compensation and when we use G421 and when G422. Welcome to another episode of CNC Talks. My name is Naman and in this video we are going to discuss the difference between G41 and G42. So watch this video till the very end and let's roll. First of all, uh, to understand the concept of compensation, let's divide this video into two parts. Uh, so in the first part, we'll use the compensation on a milling tool, for example, a milling cutter and on the second part, we'll use it on a turning tool, for example, an insert. So now, let's take an example of a milling tool. So, let us consider a plate of 50 by 50 and we need to make a plate of 30 by 30 out of it so it means we need to remove this much amount of excess material out of it uh, let us suppose a milling tool of diameter 10 mm and we will use this tool to remove this much amount of material from this so let us suppose this is our A point which is our origin point 0 comma 0 and our tool path is from A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. So our tool path will be A to B to C to D to A. Now uh, let's make a simple tool movement for our tool. So from point A our tool is G01, X0, Y0. From point A now we'll move our tool from A to B so the coordinates of point B will be x is 50 and y is 0 from point b our tool will move to c so the coordinates of point c will be 50 on x axis and 50 on y axis so g01 x50 and y50 from point c to d the coordinates of point d will be x0 x0 and y 50 and from point d our tool will return back to point a which is g01 x0 and y0 now let's see what happens if we do not give the value of compensation so in this case if we do not give G41 or G42 and call our tool at G01, X0, Y0, the center point of our tool will coincide with the center point of our tool path. So in this case, our tool will move to point 0, 0 in this way and our tool will follow the whole tool path from A to B in this way which means moving right along the center which means our tool will take this center point as a reference and move from A to B or from B to C in this way. So as you can see the diameter of our tool is 10 mm and if our tool moves along the center line it will only remove the half portion which is the 5 mm of material and the resulted plate will be this much size which is of 40 by 40 and we need to make a plate of 30 by 30 so to resolve this problem we need to give compensation in this program now Let's make this program by giving the value of compensation. So basically there are two codes, first is G41 and second is G42. So let's see when we use G41 and when G42. So uh, in this case our tool will move from point A to point B and if I'm standing right here this is the direction of movement. So to figure it out uh, whether we use G41 or G42 just stand behind the line of motion which is if I am here and our tool is moving from A to B 
if I want to move our tool to the left of the toolpath, we'll use G41. And if I want to move our tool to the right of the toolpath, we'll use G42. So in this case, uh, without giving compensation, our tool is at the center of this point. So in this case, I want to move our tool to the left of the toolpath, so it moves in this way, removing the exact amount of material which is 10 mm. So in this case, I'll use G41 so that our tool will move uh, to the left of the toolpath and remove this much material like this. So we get an exact plate of 30 by 30. Now considering the same example, let's suppose instead of A, B, C and D, uh, I'll redefine my toolpath from this point which is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So in this case again we need to remove this much amount of excess material. So if this is our toolpath, in this case our tool should move to the right of our toolpath which means in this way. So if this is our toolpath, in this case we'll use G42 as a compensation code. So I hope you got the concept of using compensation in a program. So at the end, uh, if we use G41, our tool will move to the left of our toolpath in this way. And without giving any compensation, our tool will move exactly at the center of the toolpath. And if we use G42, our tool will move to the right of the toolpath. Now, let's take an example of an insert. Uh, since you all know, an insert is a cutting tool which is used for turning. And this is how an insert will look like. And this is the cutting edge for an insert. So as you can see, the cutting edge of an insert makes a circle. So by magnifying it, we can consider this circle as a cutting point for this insert. Okay. So now let's use compensation for this insert. The first thing to know is uh, we do not use compensation for the straight faces like this. We only use compensation if there is any taper in a piece or there are any curved surfaces like this surface or this surface. Now let's consider a cylindrical bar and we need to make this shape out of it. So as you can see point A, B and C follows our toolpath and to make this exact toolpath we need to move our tool in this way. So if our tool moves exactly in this way, only then we can make this exact part. So can we make this exact part without using compensation? Let's figure it out. Now to make this tool part, all we need to do is firstly calling our tool at point A. So by giving G01, X20 and Z0, our tool will reach at point A in this position. Since this is the offset point, so the zero point will coincide with the offset point and along this point, this is the 20 mm distance along x axis. Now, for the moving from point A to point B, we'll use G02 for clockwise interpolation. The value of x at this point, let's suppose 30 x30 and the value of z at point b is 10 mm on the negative side which means z minus 10. So by, you know, by using g02 our tool will make an arc from point a to b and end up at point b in this position. So as you can see point a and b is initial and final point for the point of contact but in this case this is the point of contact 
and here this is the point of contact so there are basically different point of contact each time and as you move the tool from point a to point b in this way the cutting edge will change each time in this case this point is cutting but in this case this point in this case this and this so our cutting point is changing each time and our cutting path will become like this but on the contrary we need this tool path for the exact size we require for this arc this is the composition problem and we can easily resolve this problem by giving g41 or g42 without giving composition we need to find the coordinates according to each of the cutting edge and it is extremely hard for us to calculate the cutting edge coordinates according to the different cutting edge each time so that is why it's more simpler to use g41 and g42 uh, by using g41 and g42 uh, our machine will automatically calculate the exact coordinate according to the different cutting edge and that is why we get the exact profile we need for a program also uh, when it comes to cutting straight edges like this our tool moves in this way so here there are only two cutting points now let's suppose number one and number two and also uh, when we take offsets we'll take offset along z axis and x axis from these two points so the coordinates of these two points is already calculated that is why we do not give any kind of compensation on straight edges and when it comes to curved or taper edges the cutting point changes from this point to anywhere and that is why uh, to calculate coordinates according to different cutting point we need to give compensation during taper or any curved surfaces now the question remains whether we should use g41 or g42 so uh, let's suppose this is our insert and this is our workpiece and we are turning its outer diameter so if we use g41 our tool will move towards the left of tool path and if we use g42 our tool will move towards the right of the tool path watching from the back of the tool so if you are standing here this is our right side and this is our left side so if we need to move our tool towards the right we need to use g42 and if we need to move our tool towards left we use g41 so uh, in turning in most of the cases g42 is used for OD turning and g41 is used for internal turning so that was all from my side today if you find this video informative give it a big thumbs up and do share with your friends and for any queries you can dm me on instagram and facebook at the cnc talks also if you're new to my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot